Hello there, first grade. Welcome back. We are still working on counting money. I know you guys are getting better every day, and I know this isn't easy. So keep up the hard work. Keep pushing forward. Keep practicing those coins. And today we have a really fun game to play on the computer or on your tablet. So I have three example problems for you today, and then I'm going to let you try it by yourself. So let's look at our first problem. Again, we want to make sure we know what our coins are. So if you want to stop this video and think about it, you can, or keep watching and follow along with Miss Gates. So we see, I see two quarters, two quarters, and one dime. Good job. How much is a quarter worth? You are correct. A quarter's worth 25 cents. 25 cents. Another quarter is worth 25 cents. And as I write this down, think about it. How much is a dime worth? Great job. A dime is worth 10 cents. So think back to yesterday's lesson. When we count quarters, we can add 25 plus 25. But if every time we see two quarters, we have to add 25 plus 25, that's going to take a really long time. So remember Miss Gates' little chant or rap? When we see two quarters or quarters at all, we count by 25s. 25, 50, 75, 100, 25, 50, 75, 100. Say it with me now. 25, 50, 75, 100. So I have two quarters, 25 and 25. 25, 50. Very good. And now I'm just going to add 10 more. So now I'm at 50, and I'm going to switch my brain. Now I'm not counting by 25s. I'm counting by 10s. So after 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, what comes next? You are correct. 60. So we're going to, this is 60 cents. I'm going to do that one more time so you can see. Whoa, Miss Gates, how did you get 60? 25, 50, 50 plus 10 is 60. Great job. Let's try two more and then I'll let you be on your way to trying it all by yourself in your math book. So let's look at this problem. Wow. I see three different coins, but don't get scared. Take it one step at a time. So I have a quarter. A quarter is worth 25 cents. I have a dime. A dime is worth 10 cents. You are on it. And I have a nickel. A nickel is worth 5 cents. Very good. So I have three coins here. I have every single coin that we have learned except a penny. Now I'm going to see how much is a quarter plus a dime plus a nickel. So I have 25 plus 10. So I can either count by 10 starting at 25 or I can count up by ones, but I have to count 10. So I can count and say 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Or some of you might remember if we count by 10 starting at 25, the tens place is the only thing that changes. So 25 plus 10 is 2 plus 1, 35. 35 plus 5 more, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So you can just count up by ones once you get there. 40 cents. So I'm going to show you that one more time, and then we're going to do one more problem. So I have 25 plus 10, 25, 35. 35 plus 5 more, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Great job. Let's look at our last problem today. I have three dimes, one, two, three, and two pennies. Awesome job. So let's try this. A dime is worth 10 cents. Ooh, I like dimes because I know how to count by tens. And I like pennies because I know how to count by ones, and I know you guys do too. But I think this one is going to be a breeze. So first we label our coins. We want to know what we have and what we're working with. Because if we don't, we're going to get confused. So I have 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 1 plus 1. That's a big math problem. So let's count on like we know how to count. So we're going to count by tens and then switch to counting by ones. So I'm going to go 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. It's just like we're counting our tens and our ones. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. Great 